I'm just going to go through how we would model this um, simple lock off and I'm also going to go through the assembly which is very simple and also using bolted connections. So I'm just going to start this again. So I'm going to start a new part. And again, I always like to keep my sketches simple, so I'm going to do a sketch on the X, Y and extrude through the Z. So the first thing we're going to be doing is a rectangle. And make sure you're always using your constraints. So I'm going to align my rectangle about the centre point or the origin. It's basically where X, Y and Z are all zero, if you're thinking about it like coordinates. And the dimensions we're going to be using uh, is 150 millimetres in length and it's 30 millimetres in height and it's a 6 mil thick piece of plate. So that is the first thing I do and some people argue that they put the fillets in but my opinion is always putting fillets in, in the 3D so that's what I'm going to go and do next. So it's a 6 mil fillet and it's on three edges. It's on the three edges and it's 6 mil. So we've got those three there. So you can see that this part of the lock off is pretty much done. We've just got to do the cutout down here, which is of course where they come together, and then we've got the holes down the, the middle as well. So the next sketch we're going to do on here, again we're going to do the sketch roughly, which is this sort of goalpost shape, and you can see I just added the parallel constraint, perpendicular constraint whilst I'm drawing these lines. So you can see over here on the screen, you'll see when it's there, you can see the parallel. And then the dimensions here, it's uh, 20 mil. 6mm from all the edges and then we cut that away. So again when you're doing the extruded cut, it's this one just here, and make sure you go through all so that if you did increase this to say 8mm thick you're still going to be cutting through the entire part. So we've got the cut away, the last thing to do is add the holes. So I'm going to go ahead and use the points and we've got six holes that are identical so I've drawn them purposely out of shape there to show you that we should always constrain our points so I'm going to do it horizontally there and then basically align all of them up and then we just need to put the dimensions in so at the moment this is 15 mil, and then all of them are spaced the same so what we can do is copy that one just there And copy the previous again. Now the only difference is we've got um, a seventh hole which is in the middle so you've got the 15mm to that and the 15mm to the next hole so of course this will be that times two. Just move these over. So we're sending the dimension in and we've now all of our holes, and you can see we're fully constrained down here. You can also see the geometry's gone blue. So I'm going to push hole. These holes are nine and a half mil, and again they're through all, so ensure it's through all. And there we go. If I just... There's the preview. I'm happy with that. Press OK. And the last hole we're going to put in is this one in the centre, just here. So we're going to do another point hole. I'm going to horizontally line it with the holes that already exist, and the dimension in there is 15 as well. And then this hole is 4mm through. So there you go, that is the bulk of the lockout part. We've done all of the model in there. The last thing to do is just add uh, a material, it's mild steel. Um, so let's go down here, add that. We're going to save this part. Lock off. Now the assembly is very simple. You basically get two of these and you put them opposing each other. Uh, and then you connect them using this centre hole here and what you can do is you can then use these other six holes to, to lock it off and you can either use a padlock or you can use other bolted connections. So save that one and then I'm going to start an assembly and I press P for place on the keyboard and then go into this lock off here and place the first item. And of course we need two of them so I'm going to place a second one down before I complete and there you go we've got the two pieces and now I'm just going to use the constraints now we could do the face to the face and then line up the axes or we could use insert which essentially does the two at the same time so I select these two here and if I press apply we've basically we've got that lock off working now uh, that first one's not grounded so I'm just going to ground that one stop it moving there we go so you can now see that's how the lock off works we have a connection through the middle 
and then this is free to open and then when it's in the closed position you basically can drop a padlock or a bolt down through this hole and that will lock this together. So I'm just going to add in now a bolted connection to show you what I mean for that centre. So first thing you need to do when you're going to do a bolted connection is save it, so I'm just going to call that lock off assembly. Now I'm going to use bolted connection. So if you go up along here into your design tab and uh, bolted connection, it's very simple. It works uh, kind of like the whole tool. So we're going to you can choose concentric or linear. I'm going to choose concentric. Start plane is going to be this top face here. Uh, the circular reference is of course this hole in the middle, and the termination will be on the other side. So we've now given Inventor everything it needs. We just need to start adding fasteners. So if I just move this up here. So the first fastener we're going to add is of course going to be the bolt or the screw and if we just go down because of course don't remember this is going to be pivoting so we don't want it pivoting on threads so we can use something like this here DIN 7964 and then we can add a secondary fastener underneath which will be the washer which is this first one and then if we start at the bottom we can add in a nut so just change this drop down to nut. Again, we use this first one here. And then we're also going to add a washer on the bottom as well. And the good thing about this design accelerator is once we've done that, if I just show you, you can see this preview it's giving us here. So we've got screw, washer, and then the side we've got nut, then washer, which is the wrong way around. So you just drag, move those around, you can see it swap them. When you're happy with that, you can press apply. It says I'm going to put a folder in basically the same folder where the assembly is. I'm going to add another folder, and there you have your bolted connection. And you can see there you've got bolted connection, and it's got all the parts just in your browser just here. You can now see we've got a completed lock off, which can move in and out. And basically how this works is you can use it to close up, so maybe a power supply or something, um, to use this to lock it up and then you can either put a padlock through these holes or again you can put more bolts through so you've got up to six bolts there that you can put through and that very quickly is showing you how to use bolted connections and do a very simple assembly of a lock off